All right, guys, welcome on in. Anybody new to the channel? My name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for anything beard related. And today we have a pretty cool, unique video. I've brought in Joshua Coburn. I get that right? You got all it. All right, all yeah. right. So I'm always nervous with names as a teacher there. So Don't Joshua Coburn is a monster in the world of positivity and changing people's lives and having an amazing beard. So I'll kind of let him introduce himself, kind of say a little bit here, and then uh, we're just going to kind of freestyle style this video almost like a Q&A and get to know uh, each other but also let you guys know what's going on with Josh. For sure. Yeah, so uh, again, the name is Joshua Coburn, uh, motivational speaker, author, mentor, 5% uh, nutrition athlete, uh, and um, I'm a huge kitty cat lover. Those are the things <laughs> that usually come up when, uh, when I'm speaking. Yeah. No yeah. dog lover? Uh, I like dogs. Okay. They're, they're needy. So it's a bit it's a bit much. This has been said many times on this channel. We have two cats. We don't have dogs. I don't mind dogs. Sam minds dogs. She's not a big fan of mm -hmm. them. Uh, but exactly that. If we go on a vacation, your life is changed because of taking care of those dogs. Absolutely. My cats are good. They're good right. for a solid four or five days. Right. And then we can have somebody check on them. So okay, cat yeah, lover, check. Good. Yeah, absolutely. And I absolutely. get heat for that. Do you get well, heat for that? Uh, here's the thing. Uh, we have a dog. Okay. As well. So, uh, you know, it's this big Doberman. I love him, but they're needy. And yeah. that's it. Like, I've, I've not had a dog until recently. So they're just needy. Okay. So that, that's it. That's all I can say about dogs. Okay. I'm not going to be a hater, but <laughs> god damn, it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And then what else? So, uh, yeah. So, what I cover uh, speaker, mentor, all that stuff, uh, fitness guy. Uh, yeah. And, you know, bearded. Apparently, okay. is what, what we need to mention. And we're, we're going to get into that. We'll get into the beard world and everything. Sure. And I, as a lot of people on my channel know, I dabble in a little bit of the, the speaking. Kind of started for me with um, being a teacher, having this channel, having a little bit of success. And then school's asking me to do career day and wanted right. me to speak as a content creator. And then they started to book for, for speaking at assemblies and speaking after school. Uh, where, what's your story? What's the background? How did you get into, was that the first go around for you? Was the motivational speaking and then everything else came about? Um, yes and no. I mean, really my story is pretty, pretty wacky. Um, I started really with a lot of business stuff okay. uh, because I was in body modification for a lot of years, which kind of explains a little bit of the, the tattoos, et cetera. Yeah. Um, and I started speaking to large groups for um, the health department, like annual meetings. Really? So here I am teaching them about cleanliness, what to look for, <laughs> how to address these things. You okay. Know? Uh, they're in that world? Yeah, in, okay. in, the, in the tattoo. Because they would okay. do, like, like, their job was, like, inspecting, you know, pools. Yeah. And, and, um, and uh, you know, places to do cosmetic uh, hey. stuff. And they're and throwing all them into tattoo. Correct. Probably? Wow. And, 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 you know, it's, it's all similar right. for, from a health True. standpoint. True. However. From a science standpoint, yeah. Right, right. But they just, it's like, well, what do we look for? So that's what I helped Interesting. with. Um, and, and I was already doing these large kind of, uh, crowd, so I was okay. comfortable with it. But kind of the thing, the thing is, early on in my life, I remember seeing a, a speaker who um, came to our school as a Vietnam vet. Crazy, amazing story. But I also didn't fight in any, you know, war, and I didn't have that perspective. My right. war was at home. Yeah. You know, and and it, it, as a 15 year old kid, so I didn't relate maybe as well as I could. Okay. And I was like, I can do this. So that young. I was I knew that I was born to help people and I could do it through speaking, especially because I would go to like shows a lot and I would yeah. see a lot of bands and I loved the in between song banter. Okay. Because it was so like forceful and like hardcore in yeah. the shows. And I was like, Yeah, I can't sing, but I can do that. <laughs> so that's how I approach it still. I can't sing either. Right. <laughs> terrible. So yeah, I enjoy that's, it, but well, terrible. you know, I yeah, I'll do my best in the same, car. Same, alone, I'm same, right. Sam gets same angry. Good. Oh, oh, so like yeah, that I'm alone. Oh, okay. I'm alone. All right. So right. Yeah. Right, but I assume that if if I'm with my wife, she would sing with me, so it'd be fine. We okay, would, we would both suck. Okay, all so, right, all right. Or rather, I would suck. It's too hard. Yeah, I should say. good catch, good so, catch, yeah, good right, catch. Right, she may sure. be in the background right now. Right, that's right. that's okay. All right, so then it led into there, and uh, where do you speak at? Um, I know you speak at schools, right? Being a teacher, that's something that that I've seen you do. Yes, uh, speak primarily like you know fifth grade to, through seniors. I do a lot of stuff uh, for colleges. Especially new incoming students, you know, okay. freshman, sophomore, because they're transitioning. There's a lot yeah, of change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, career classes, I still do occasionally, but um, it just got to the point now where like full school assemblies make yeah. the most sense for me because I'm okay. traveling. Um, 
But all that said, I, I also, like I just did a big milestone for me last year. I just did my, my first billion dollar company. Wow. So that was a, a pretty major okay. thing. You know, went from, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars yeah. companies, you know, and like talking to like 15 people huh. to legacy companies, Lennox, wow. MetLife, stuff like that. But wow. then, you know, stepping up to a billion dollar company and doing their entire uh like sales staff doing their executives, okay, doing all of that, their field sales people, like, yeah, you know, like and just oh, as yeah. to give them perspective and motivation, what was their, yeah, uh, they were struggling with staying connected with one another okay. and you know, also kind of vibing with the, what they do. And it's, it's my job essentially to talk about yeah. unity and you know, because. Yeah, okay, so Carol's pissed Unity. in her cu- yeah. <laughs> you know, Carol's pissed in her in her cubicle every day hammering on her Excel spreadsheet, right? Yeah. And everybody talks about how Carol's pissed, but nobody asks Carol if everything's okay. Yeah. And that's true. you know, long long story short, that's kinda what I talk about. Okay. But that makes there's, sense. there's nothing cooler than being this tattooed bearded guy in a t shirt walking into a place like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not like you, but we're a lot the same and yeah. I'm gonna prove it. And you that's know? that's kind of a, a topic that I really, really cover on this channel. Awesome. I am a teacher and for whatever reason, the stigma of a bearded man as a teacher is unprofessional. Really? Yes. Especially as majestic and beautiful as this beard is. That's what I'm trying to tell them. That's Damn. what I'm trying to tell them. So, as a teacher, you wear dress pants, you uh-huh. tuck your shirt in, you wear a collar and a tie, and they prefer you to shave. Mm-hmm. They prefer you to keep a, a good haircut. They could never tell you that, right. but they might say, Hey, the barber closed lately, or uh, what's going on with that? You know, so a little passive aggressive, and I really have tried to combat that. I consider myself a very good teacher. I'm very passionate about what I do. I work really, really hard at it to be prepared, and I don't think that the beard or wearing a tie helps or hurts. Right. And so I don't wear ties anymore. I play a game with my colleagues where I call it collar or no collar. So I'll come <laughs> in, and I'll have them see me from the front, and I say I'm wearing a collar, and the Cheat code is no, because I don't. Right. And so I wear now like Nike banded collars. Like oh, Tiger okay. just wore one to the Masters and it was like a big deal because right. you're supposed to wear a collared shirt. And so that's a huge thing. And I even align myself with companies that are addressing that stigma. Nice. That a certain look is not professional. That a certain look defines who you are. And I really, publicly, I have many videos on that. I even have a video titled, Why Beards in the Workplace Are Acceptable. Wow. And, yeah. and uh that's a big, big thing for me is because I think it's, we got to get past that, that that's so old. Absolutely. And it's the same idea with, uh, with tattoos. We had a live stream this week and someone brought up, I got asked again today if I'm a biker. And he uh-huh. goes, it's yeah. because I have tattoos and I have a beard. He said, I drive a Volvo. Right. <laughs> like I am the farthest thing from a biker, but that stigma is out there. And the thing that I think has shocked our family the most, especially my wife, every day she shakes her head and is just in shock is the bearded community, and there is a community, like it's, right. it's wild, but the it is, closest yeah. guys ever, you see them, they're, they're tatted, mm-hmm. they have beards, big muscles, traps that are like closing their ears, right. like just massive guys, and they're the kindest, most supportive guys. Um, last year, our son Jax went through a really bad um, health scare and had to essentially go and stay in a children's hospital for a week and everything. Wow. They banded together and were, it, was, it was unreal, like brought us to tears, like it was That's unbelievable. Huge but went against every stereotype you could ever imagine. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's something that we really address on this channel. And nice. I love that. And I yeah, love that's... that because there's nothing that affects the, who you are or what you do because of your personal choices. Right. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I have a history in, in, um, in the corporate world okay. like this. So it's really interesting because I remember early on sitting down with presidents of massive legacy companies. Yeah. And, they, you know, I had an email email relationship. I have phone relationship. So they've never seen you. Correct. And then I walk into this meeting and I'm like, I'm Joshua Coburn. And their mouth is like, (sighs) you're not what I expected. And then, you know, generally it's like, can we just address the elephant in the room right now so we can do it? And it's like, yeah, so I'm not what you expected. I'm assuming it's the tattoos on the face. It's the ears that are huge. I'm assuming it's these things. Yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. (laughs) And I'm like, but we're still here doing business, so it changes nothing. Am I correct? Yeah. They're like, well, you know, I'll tell you, had we known, and I'm like, but you didn't. 
and that is not on me. That's on you. So yeah. nothing changes. 100%. And it never did. It yeah. never did, you know? That brings me to uh, one of my favorite quotes from a movie, Pursuit of Happiness, Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Know that one? Yep. And he's waiting for this job interview, doing everything he can for an internship. He gets arrested. He was painting. He looks like a mess. He runs there. And they're like, what would you say if I gave a guy a job who doesn't have a shirt on? And he replied back, they may, must be some really nice pants. <laughs> and so he, he gave the interview and tore it up, got the job. And so, yeah, that's that's huge. I can imagine that exact interaction. I almost get the same thing with teaching, mm -hmm. where the kids will go home and talk about me. Oh, we love right. Mr. Command. We love Mr. Command. And then they'll meet me in person, and it's almost like, whoa. And if they hadn't heard about the beard, or even if they do, they're still surprised. And it's, right. it's always a topic. Always a topic of discussion, and um, yeah, and I could see that. And so I think, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but the three dots, that's kind of your yeah. trademark, your right. symbol yep. type thing. Yep. And um, I've seen pictures where you have fans that have that tattooed, and yeah. and it's it's trying to show, I think, just how much you've influenced their life and just maybe a reminder to them of, yeah. of the lessons and everything. It's amazing. Yeah. I have five humans on this earth that have my logo tattooed on them. Really? Yes. Dude, that's Nothing so like huge, that. Right? I don't think it's ever like, hey, it's a positive positivity reminder or anything like that. I think it's like, that's a cool beard logo and I want to look right. like a bearded guy. <laughs> right. So I think a little bit different, but I think that's super cool. And, and I think you even had recently like at Walmart and random run-ins uh, where yeah. you would see a fan of yours, someone that follows you that comes up to you and says, hey, I have your tattoo and right. you have no idea who this person well, is. Yeah. In, in this case, it was crazy because she was walking in front of us. Oh and, my God. And I was like, and I, you I, saw it. Yeah, I tapped my life. <laughs> and I'm like, Cynthia, I'm like, look at this. Because it was on the back of the leg. Yeah. And she's like, do you know them? And I'm like, I don't know. And right. turns out I recognize them from online, you know. And okay. I actually spoke at their school years ago. No way. So, like, I mean, years ago. This Wild. isn't like a year ago. This yeah. is like years. Wow. So, uh, to see them with it, and and then the, she's like, yeah, I actually thought you might be here. She recognized my wife first. Okay. And I was like, and I came around the corner. She's like, oh my gosh, like you're catching me at such a weird time. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like you're catching me at a yeah, weird right, time. Yeah, right, this right, is right, insane, right. You know? That's crazy. But yeah, it is. It's, it's it's a wild world. I had a guy who got a really big tattoo of my logo on his arm. He messaged me. He's like, Dan, I just got back from the doctor from getting a physical. The doctor goes, hey, nice Dan C tattoo. Whoa! The doctor at Whoa. his physical. Wow. <laughs> so I, it's, yeah, it, it's such a small world. And I think this would be a good time to kind of address this connection, right? Sure. Because um, other than the idea of being motivational and speaking to people, right. I, I wouldn't say we're in the same world, right? Because I don't think you do much with beards right now, right? No, I don't. I okay. technically don't. Yeah. I, I have a beard. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. And we will we'll get into that. So the connection here is I saw a post on Instagram, and I think it was first a post of your wife, and it was, I checked the local Instagram uh, uh, tags on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting to see what's going on in my city and surrounding cities. Right. And I saw the po post from your wife, and then I saw you, and I'm like, beard? Like, that's my right. first thing I thought. <laughs> right. Like, that's this is my life, you know? Sure. Uh, beards, like, okay. And then I saw, wow, there's a lot of followers there. Okay, let me see. Oh, dude, he does, like, speaking events, and I, you had some motivational thing, and I'm like, that's so cool, man. I, I live right around the corner uh, stuff, and you were like, oh, yeah, I'm in Iowa, but we gotta get together sometime. Yeah, yeah. And, and then get a message from your wife, and we're like, yeah, we'd love to, to connect and make something happen. And somehow it gets brought up that, yeah, I teach at this school, or I right. live in this city, and I live right behind the school I teach at. Right. And wow, that's crazy. My kids go to that, or went to that school. Right. I'm like, man, that's crazy. And they bring up a person who's a local DJ um, host of a radio station. I said, yeah, I have his son. And she's like, okay, I'll ask him about, uh, about Mr. Command. Right. And turns out that... I have her kid in class. Right. Yeah. It is unbelievable. Yeah, crazy. And is just the craziest connection of all time. Yeah. And like I think we fully would have had this meeting and got together and we had talked about it before any of that. Right. And just how small that world is. It, it really is. Because I mean, I grew up in Iowa. Yeah. So like to, how in the hell I in Michigan, 50% <laughs> or more of this, 75% or whatever yeah. of the time, like... That's ridiculous. And then to have you essentially just up the road, like, yeah. what in the hell? Yeah. But it is, like, the more that I travel, the more that I deal with social media, the more I realize this world used to feel this big. Yeah. I was like, that big. It's connected. You know, it's it's, yeah. it's so crazy, the doors that are opened uh, when you put yourself out there, when you, you see what's going on. It's 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 unbelievable. And we could talk for, for years about oh, geez, that. Yeah. But unbelievable the worlds that, that get all 
opened and um, I think one of the coolest ones is that I am a massive MMA fan. Oh, I yeah. watch MMA all over the world, whether it's UFC, whether it's uh, Pride, Dream, all the classic stuff, Bellator, I'll watch it all, local circuits. And I saw a post and you were with a UFC fighter. Yeah. And you have an opportunity. You want to talk about that? Like, yeah. Or what? Um, Valentina Antonina uh, Shevchenko and world and, champion. Yeah. Knockout she, artist. Drop absolutely. your head off with a kick. <laughs> My <laughs> goodness, that last yeah. knockout. Jeez, with uh, with eye up against eye. eye. I was there, man, and to see that go down, I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Is she dead? Yeah, like, right. Because like right. she laid there for a while, yeah. and you immediately get concerned. Yeah, and that's that's the world. I mean, yeah. the the recent uh, UFC card, Ben Askren getting dropped. Yeah. Like, loved it. I, I love. I like. Uh, I like uh, three piece coke in uh, in the side, right. but. Uh, it was scary, but so same thing with that. So right. you were there. Yeah. You saw it. You were yeah. close to the we, ring. We were. We, I was sitting right between uh, 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 Joe Rogan and uh, what's the owner's name? Um, Dana uh, White. Yeah, see, Dana White. Which, yeah. You know, we're right here. Like that was our Jeez. view. You know, right behind there. And uh, and I mean, they're wonderful. We were in the Shevchenko seat, family seating. Like, okay. They are just. If there's anything about them that I can say, yes, great fighters. Yeah. Some of the greatest people I've ever. Known. Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, to be there and see, like, I, I've watched her fight before, but that was different. You know, I mean, it was just like, and, and to hear her talk. Yeah. After, you know, we're like, were you planning that? She's like, oh, yes, immediately I noticed right Oh, away. my gosh. The, if you'll notice, I, I did these two here, kicks. Yeah. And she dipped. Yeah. And she dipped. And then I tested second round, and then I knew. And I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. how, and like, that is and that's, an expertise I don't have. That's for damn sure. It, and it's, yeah, it's a science. It's a sport. It's, it's, and defy stereotypes again, right? You think right. like, oh, women's fighting. No, tell me that is is a woman's fight. You know, yeah. that's that that's knocking anyone out. It's, I mean, that's, it's intense. Yeah, for that's sure. crazy. So but, you get to travel with her. Well, um, to to give you kind of the big picture, yeah, what yeah, a yeah. lot of people don't know is I also handle social media and um, personalities okay. for uh, a few large brands, right? Okay. So she, she's one of the individuals that I met through that avenue. Interesting. And so we often go to support because she supports what w one of the brands that we do. Okay. So of course, I'm always a family before business guy, Yeah. and that's how we always operate. So like, if, if we talked about going into business together, yeah. That's cool, but I'm not going to talk about that until we've hung out and we're family first. Yeah. Because you're not going to screw family over. Absolutely. And if it doesn't feel that vibe, I'm not into it. I don't care who you are. You can be the friggin' rock. If you don't come off well, I'm not doing business just because you're the rock. You know what I mean? Love it that. doesn't work. So, Love that. Um, and and uh, Antonina and uh, Valentina and Pavel are just, they're amazing. That's they so are cool. family. So, and yeah, we, we what go. What country all the time. is she from? Uh, Kyrgyzstan. Okay. Which is also like last time we went to a Kyrgyz restaurant when we were in um, Chicago after that okay. flight, and you know it's like two a.m. They kept yeah. it open, and we have this huge table, and they're feeding us all this like traditional you know <laughs> cuisine, and they're singing, and I have a video somewhere on my IG of yeah, that. Yeah, I saw just that like, one. What is is this real? Yeah. It's like those are moments that. You know, you can't dream of having. No. And here you are sitting there, no. and, and there's, like, the title belt in front of you, and you're, like, moving it out of the way to grab some cheese so or whatever. Crazy. So crazy. Like, you had yeah, another video like, where the fans surrounded her yeah, afterwards just and stuff. Nuts. Yeah, there's no way in the world you dream of that. So that's super cool. That's Thanks, an amazing, yeah. amazing opportunity Absolutely. and connections out there, which is just amazing. Okay, let's talk beards now. Beards, let's do it. So that's that's my my world. That's what my channel is. I do have a platform of positivity. I, I really, really approach everything from a positive lens. That's how, how I live my life. I rarely get sick, and I think it's just because I'm crazy mental. Same. Like when I start to get sick, I, I demand myself that I'm not. I'm, I'm going to work. I right. don't care what's going on. Uh, so that, that's part of my channel as well, but it's beards. I teach guys how to take care of their beards. I teach guys how to make their beards look nice, but I also go into the history, the science, uh, tips and tricks. I mean, every avenue you can imagine, right. um, I cover on here. So what is your, cause this is the, the full beard and newer journey of your life? Uh, no, actually, it revisited? that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I okay. actually, um, back in my, my very first ever like promotional professional like promo photo yeah my hair's long my beard's like this okay so the, and this is back in 2002 three ish okay so I mean years ago uh, decades ago decade ish ago and um, 
you know, I, I had it long, I loved it long, and I was very into like, you know, horror and, and Charles Manson, cool. and, you know, so I had, it had kind of that, you know, haphazard vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, years later, I, I shaved it and had people in my life that maybe weren't completely into that, so it's just like, whatever. And I, I told myself, if anything changes, I'm bringing this beard back. Yes. And the reason was because uh, I, I talk about it like it was my Achilles heel. When okay. I shaved it, I lost power. Yeah. You know? And I firmly believe that. Like, yes. it seems silly, but, like, yeah. I did. Like, I'm a short guy. We were just talking about yep. that. I'm short, 5'6". But, like, being bearded, having the tattoos, like, I don't think I'm Mr. Tough Guy. But what that does is it allows me to be fully confident in who I am. 100%. When I'm shaved, I look like a turtle that lost a shell. And uh, that doesn't make me confident. Yeah, so, you know, I, that's all there is to it. I can't agree with that anymore. Um, we were talking earlier about my buddy who we have a live stream where he just started uh, growing a beard for the first time. Right. Yesterday, filming this video, that was a topic of discussion. Um, beard confidence. When you walk right. into a store now, you feel different. Like right. you, you feel different. When I go somewhere, I know it's kind of crazy knowing what people are looking at. Right. Right. Totally. It, it's you know that first thing is they're looking for me. It's my beard. For you, I'm assuming it's like a combo of beard and tattoos. Right, they're yeah. probably doing like this yeah, thing. Yeah, like definitely. for me, it's like my eyes are up here, but you sure. probably like my eyes are in the middle. They're like right, right. here. Like, please <laughs> right, please yeah. hit them. So yeah, yeah. There, there's so much truth to that. Okay, right. so you've got your Achilles heel back, you start growing the beard again, yep. and and how long have you had this current long beard? Uh, about three-ish years, give awesome. or take. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, and I'm sure we'll get into grooming more, mm -hmm. but what you see here is not the entirety of that growth. Yeah. I, I trim it back of course. Know, a few inches every month of course. Around, so. Yeah, the uh, normal person grows about a half inch of beard a month. Mm. And so if you trim a half inch, that's a month. Uh, mine's more close to like a uh, uh, an inch a month for wow. varying Impressive. reasons, majorly uh, genetics, nothing to do with me whatsoever. Sure. Like just thanks mom, dad. Right. Uh, but there are some things other in there. So beard routine, my biggest viewed video, we're approaching a hundred thousand views, which Whoa. is crazy. I know, I know it's crazy. Uh, it's me in a bathroom, terrible acoustics, Showing you, I'm fresh out of the shower. I put I put a shirt on because you don't want you know, oh, to see on. all this. I mean, you know. hey, you keep that taco meat. You know? <laughs> so it's it's me with a wet beard and saying, "This is how I comb. This is how I put products in and stuff." Right. Like this is like a major focal point. Is guys want to know right. how to take care of their beard, make it healthy, but also look good. Right. So hit us with the morning. What's your right. your routine? And this is big. This is where guys are like, "Okay, yep. okay, shush, yeah. shush." Yeah. Well, th this is where they, y'all, you're going to scream at the screen <laughs> in about are. three minutes. Like you're going to be like, no, you are a dumbass. They're, what? They're, they're going to. Yeah. No, here okay. we go. All here right. we go. I, and I, I don't know this. I have not heard this yet. Right. I purposely wanted to save this for video. So uh, I am I am the most haphazard beard. Okay. Ha are, am I a beard owner, wearer, haver? Ooh. What are we? Wow. We've like, never discussed that. I, I f a, a possessor of... Of greatness. I mean, we can call it whatever we want, but I, I, I'm the most haphazard possessor bearded of greatness. Bearded man. Of bearded greatness. Yes. I like possessor that. of bearded greatness. That's we what I'm calling it. We might have to tag that, yeah. For the sake of this. Okay. Um, so, I, I'm haphazard. Here's the deal. Okay. Uh, I grew it because I wanted it. I never had any inkling that there was a community of people that gave any care about beards until it started getting length, and I started getting, like, the the... So the beard knot, yeah, right? Yes. Like, and once I the started getting knot. those, or like the, hey man, like yeah. it's like so how that's long an, we grow. That's I an, didn't know that was a thing. That's an invitation, right? So yes. we talk about this last night. You give the nod if they acknowledge that they open that gate. Right. Now, now we're talking. Right now, right, we're right, going. Right. So yes, that's the the. Are, are you, we doing yeah, this? Right. Okay, yeah, right. okay. So you got that. So you're right. starting to get people talking. Okay. So um, once I realized that, I was like, oh, I. Uh, <laughs> I don't do really anything. Wow. Um, here's the deal. Okay. Like I, I it's it's very important to me to condition this because I don't want like face pubes. Like I want yeah. nice, soft, yeah. flowing locks. Hundred percent. So, uh, so I, you know, I shampoo, I condition. Good. Um, when I exit the shower, like I've, I've, you know, like we have talked, you know, on social media, everybody sends you piles of beard product, right? Guys, I have tried them all. I'll keep my opinion mostly to myself. Okay. Because I don't use any, really. <laughs> so so there you go. Yeah. Um, so my post-shower, okay. I get out, 
and um, I dry it off with a towel naturally. Okay. I put like this heat sealant stuff in that was recommended by okay. um, by some uh, barbers, etc. Okay. Over time, heat on, on shield, the yes. argan oil. I don't even know what okay. the hell it is. I'm assuming argan oil yeah. heat shield. I don't know. So it's it's in a it's in a bottle. It's you know little spray guy. Uh yeah yeah little pumpy. Yep yeah, yep, 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 yep yep yep. So here's the deal. And this is both the most controversial thing I'm gonna say, okay. but also the thing I get complimented the most on. Okay. So my beard is absolutely crazy, and you're probably like, your beard isn't crazy. Right, right, right. Well, it's yeah, like notice. And and one thing about the bearded community too, your color is freaking bananas. Like really? Oh, um, you're the because it's like kind of skunky. Dude, like coveted. That's really? That's like one of the things where guys are like, I don't want a beard because I have gray, and I'm like. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, right. gimme. Like that, like people are gonna go crazy over yeah. the color. Like the awesome. color is I'll take it. like you'll see. You'll see. Yeah, okay, go, okay. Ahead, go ahead. Go <laughs> okay. ahead. Yeah, go so, ahead. So so um where were we at? Uh oh, okay. th this, shower. Yeah, this is where Peace shield. people are gonna get crazy. Cause because I get the most compliments I get are on how straight and nice my beard is, right? The the thing is, my beard's absolutely crazy when I get out of the shower. Okay. Like, and the reason that I do this is let me back up. I get out of the shower, <laughs> crazy. It's like, I can see it. It curls so bad through here. Okay. Like, I can see it. I get the, like, wavy yeah, stuff yeah, 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 on yeah. both sides. Like, this is all, like, out here. Your chin. Right. And if I just let it go, like, if I just let it dry naturally, yep. I'm in trouble. Yep. So, blow it out. Okay. Give myself a good, good blow, right? Yep. And uh, it's, for the most part, pretty good. It's pretty okay. straight at that point, right? Okay. Um, that said, these areas right here still curl out. I can see them. And then right here gets wacky. Yeah. So I straighten it. Okay. With what? Uh, a little tiny flat iron. Okay. Okay. So, and here's the deal. I, I don't know. Again, I don't know anything. Yeah. I was I was sent one of these in a suggestion that, hey, this is a beard straightener. Little did I know that it's actually a travel straightener that ladies okay. use. So. You and know, it's a flat, it's a flat yeah, one? Yeah, it's just a little flat Okay, iron. okay. And I don't, I don't know if this is good or bad. What I know, I mean, for the hair. That I don't it care. works for you. Facts, I don't care what anybody thinks. I'll be right. femmy as it takes, because you oh, know, yeah. I, I like this freaking beer, so eat it. Dude, that's all we talk about on this channel, is how right. to take care of it. And you will get the random, I mean, I, may, I am the least sensitive person you've ever sure. met. So, to do YouTube, you have to have no sensitivity, right? right? <laughs> yeah. You're going to get the guys on there, they're like, oh, you girls, and I'm like, yeah, thanks, man, thanks for the right. comment, and the I, you know, YouTube analytics. Yeah, I know, it like, means nothing to I'll, me. I'll be a girl if it means I have a nice yeah. beard that I'm yeah. confident with. Like, I don't care, label me, yes. it means zero. Yeah, okay, so... Flat iron, so all of that's amazing. So essentially, yeah, what your heat shield is, is right. a natural carrier oil, mm -hmm. which is amazing for your skin. Argan oil comes from only one place in the world, uh, a tree in Morocco. Whoa. So it's only from Morocco. It nourishes your skin. It really seals in your hair. It's wonderful. One of the right. best things you can do. Um, I have hundreds of beard oils right over here. Mm -hmm. Almost every one of those has argan oil in it. Sure. Um, the main thing with the heat shield is a lot of people think it has a kind of interesting smell to it. Right. Uh, so a lot of the beard oils are the same thing, but they just add in different scents to be able to smell, right. smell differently. But most people on this channel apply heat to their beard. So ah. they, almost everybody applies heat to their beard. Good to know. And it's Countless amount of videos, countless amount of discussions on what is the best way. Ultimately, everything comes back to what works for you. Sure. So most people, my big video we were talking about is me using a blow dryer to straighten my beard in the morning. Uh, right. I use a blow dryer every single morning to get my beard ready. Same thing, if I don't, my beard is about half the length mm -hmm. and is out here and yeah. it's curly and crazy and just nuts and I don't like that. I right. don't like it all. Some guys do, psh, rock on. Like, right. totally Absolutely. cool. Absolutely, Absolutely. do you. So the flat iron though is is one thing I would love to have you and maybe you have tried. Right. So they make um, and your wife would know this, but they make heated brushes. I have seen these. Okay. I'd be curious because I don't I don't even brush my beard generally. Like really? I don't comb it. I don't anything. Interesting. Nope. Like what you're seeing here was literally like a couple hours before I came here. Yeah. Like, Exactly what I just told you. Okay. No. Okay. No comb. No. Nothing. Yeah. And and some people can get away with that. So you. It, and I'll come back more to the, the heated comb in a second. Sure. So people are, are, are screaming at their computer, but not like out of anger, out of what you're doing. Right. But they're like, you lucky bastard. How <laughs> that? How, how do you, how are you able to do that? Because 
A lot of times when you don't do the procedures we talk about on the video, a major thing is itch, a major thing is your beard feels like straw, or feels like hay, right. and I'm assuming you don't have that. Uh, no, I, I will say though, um, like I, I don't know if it translates via video here, but okay. I, I do have a skin condition, you'll probably notice sitting here, okay. that I, I'm a little more red than like most. Okay, we're back. Reached the recording limit for one, so beard itch. All right. right. So, uh, as I was saying, like, I, I have kind of a skin condition. My okay. face gets very dry okay. um, in, in general. So, I mean, it happens on my, on my head, my scalp, my okay. chest, like my sternum. So, it's, it's, okay. it's an issue. It's, my, it's a hereditary interesting, thing. Interesting, interesting. So, one would think that underneath here is probably a mess. Yeah. The facts are, it kind of is. Uh, <laughs> through here, I, I, get, I do get really dry. Okay. And uh, it drives me absolutely crazy. Okay. But that's where... Honestly, and again, this is, I'll rely on you, I'll check yeah. the comments, guys, but um, I'm here. Uh, so I just massage in lotion, the same stuff I use here, okay. which may or may not be good. It works, but if there's something that, because it does clump my beard, yeah. so I'm like, ugh, geez. Yeah. But if there's a better way, I'm willing to try. Oh, so. Guys, all right. <laughs> you, this is, you're going to be my canvas. Oh, yes. man, here we so, go. Okay, so yes, a heated brush is essentially a flat iron, but will get teeth into your beard mm -hmm. and do the same thing. I use it probably about twice a week or in, like, I'll have my beard straightened in the morning, and then I'm gonna go out with my wife, and I wanna just do a couple touch-ups, that's what I'll do. The main thing I use it for is um, beard waves. So I get yep. waves under my chin, I get waves on my side, probably the same spot yep. you do. Yep. Um, two main reasons people get beard waves is because it's thinner in those areas, right, okay, where our yeah. soul patch is meeting our beard. Right. Uh, it gets thinner, but the second reason is, um, and you won't have this one, because it sounds like you're not doing that, but guys will comb, and they'll comb too aggressively, and they'll go along their jaw lines. So when they uh, get down past their jaw, it pushes in, and pushes uh, the hair. Okay. So if you use a heated comb, you brush it in any direction, and it starts to get those out. I think you would okay. really dig a, a heated brush. Yeah, I think I'll give that it a would shot. be would work really well for you. And there's there's ones out there. There's one main one that's designed for beards, but most of them are just um, what you can pick up at Ulta for for girls' hair. I just made a nice new purchase. Wow. I haven't even told the channel this yet. I upgraded the hair dryer. Oh, nice, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. What did you pick up? So I picked up. Uh, Sam did the research because she uses it too. It's the wow. same same one we use. It is like 50% quieter and 50% quicker because when I get ready in the morning, it's like 5.30 a.m. to go to swim practice. Right. Sam's pregnant and the boys are asleep, so mm, they need to stay no asleep. Doubt. I think it's called Baby Bliss. Baby Bliss? Okay, I'm getting the head nod. Wow. I'm getting the head nod. And wow. it's uh, the like um, engineers who made the engine of Ferraris. And so they made Whoa. the engine in this. And killer like wow. killer it's one of those things where it's worth the upgrade sure where i had the 20 dollars amazon one yeah, before your sweet con air yes it truly where there's like no even labeling on right. it or anything uh, I got you. I got so you. it's i upgraded that so they have a really nice one uh, it's like a hundred dollars for the the bearded um, brush but most of them are just you can pick up any one that works and those are that's the real big thing right now that guys are liking. Instead of ah. a straight arm when you have to flatten it yep, and uh, go through, it just kind of goes through. So I would be interested to see how how that worked for you. Right. Well, so. you I mean, you'll flip open Instagram in like two weeks, and it'll it'll my beard will beam at you majestically. <laughs> yes. In ways right. Hadn't right. Right. And you're just so. like, ah, oh, right. the itch is yeah. gone. And yeah. Right. Go away. <laughs> we'll, we'll get into all that because there's a whole world. And like you said, you you probably get hit up by as many companies as I have. Four or five companies every single day right. and. Maybe one or two is legit. Most of them are from China and Alibaba sure. and stuff like that. So interesting. Okay, so I like it. But yeah, I I agree. I like the the straightened um, style of the beard a little bit more than the kind of crazy. One right. of my my things with my beard is it's really like thick and dense. Right. And when you use a flat iron, it kind of like pushes that together. So you can probably get a little more like density out of right. it. Right. So yeah, definitely. that'll be interesting. All right. Definitely. So another thing is I am. I'm into reading on things that I'm interested in. I read sure. biographies. I read 100%, a same. lot of, of books about war and generals and strategies. And that's about it. My wife reads every story you could ever imagine about witches and dragons <laughs> and vampires. And then she watches the show. And, and it's So you are an author. Right. You are an actual yeah, selling yeah. author. Right. How absolutely. how did this come about? What's the process like? I mean, because uh, I know nothing about this world. I know a little bit about speaking. I know you said that you were a sponsored athlete. Yep. Um, yep. And 
uh, I'm assuming it's a company that sells supplements yep, or yep. So, okay. nutritional supplements. So yep. I know that world as well. That's the, the kind of the beard world equivalent of products right. and everything. So yep. I, I get all that. This is foreign to me. Yeah, what's, yeah. What's the, what's the process? Uh, what's the deal here with the, the book? Well, um, like this is my, what, fourth book, fifth book, something like that. I don't even know. Um, but specifically in terms of uh, publishing and stuff, yeah. like... Um, I go it alone. I've, I've worked with big publishers and stuff, but in the way the world is at this point, you know, I can just do it myself. You wow. know, I have a website. I have the following. My, in my the description. followers, yeah, uh, my followers are wonderful and support what I do. End of story. You know, so um, big thing is, you know, I mean, really, let's let's be honest. The hardest part of of writing a book is writing a book. You can. You know, there's plenty of places yeah. to print things. Right. Uh, this is actually done on a real printing press. This is not a print on demand. This isn't, you know, anything like that. So this is important to me because for me it leaves a legacy. You that know, when crazy. I'm gone, it's it's something important. So, um, but yeah, the, and you the, wrote this. Yes, absolutely. Like yeah. you, that's so crazy to me. You sat down and, and wrote this now. But I didn't. That's what's crazy. Okay. Everything, like, and you'll see, this is more of a toilet book. I don't know if you guys are out there familiar with toilet books. Oh, yeah. Familiar with that. Oh, yes. But it's made to, like, if you're getting ready to go in for a job interview, if you're getting Quick ready for hits. a test, yeah, you just open a page, read it. The beginning has some real, you know, heavy hitter pages, but after that, you just, you know, you take your morsels and you get your mind right and then you go kick ass. Like, we were talking wow. positivity. Like, I yeah. have a PMA tattooed on the side of my head. Nice. Positive mental attitude. That's what this book is for. It's about. Okay giving motivation I'm not and support it doesn't tell you how to live your life okay. it reminds you you can live your life so that's that's it's called shit that needs said so you can kick all the ass that's really what it's about that's awesome so, I start yeah. class every single day with a quote of the day and a question of the day awesome. and so and it's never related to what I'm teaching about mm -hmm. um, so it's what's your goals for the last two weeks of the school year what uh, mm -hmm. what did you do this weekend so I can learn my students interests and then we usually branch off and it's always a motivational quote it's it's something from a coach something from an author so yeah it's right up this alley man nice. that's, that's yeah, so yeah, amazing that's now, with this process, did you have to go through a um, editor or anything like that? Because, like for me, mm -hmm. I, I consider myself an educated person. I, I went to college, two master degrees, all that stuff. I would not be confident in myself with writing a book and putting it out there. So, what's right. what's that last step? Uh, you know, like for me, I write. I wrote all this on my phone. Like that's okay. how I do it in my notes. notes. Yep. <laughs> every so. practice I've ever had, every every video I've ever, I'll show you afterwards. Scroll, scroll, yeah, scroll. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's endless. So yeah, the exactly. Way. And then, then it gets dumped into a Google Drive, yeah. and then I pull it into my program. Yeah. But yeah, at the end of the day, essentially, like the designer I work with, Chad, is unreal. If you flip through that, you the know pit, that's that what it's I was like trying to show. Super crazy. Yeah. It's not just a. It reminds book, me right? of uh, I don't I can't remember the guy's name, but. He had uh, like Jessica Alba in a movie, uh, Sin City and uh, Rod, stuff. Robert Rodriguez, Rodriguez right? yeah. correct? Yeah, it's kind of got that vibe about it for yeah. sure. And um, what I did is I, I put it together, said what I was looking for, right? And gave it to him and he gave me the first 15 pages back. And then as he designed it, he edited it. And then when I got it back, I went through and re-edited. Okay. And that's that was literally it. Like, that was it the was process. The two of us. And here's the crazy thing. If you would ask me in November of what last year, maybe the year before, I don't remember, um, if I was going to put out a book, I would have said, no, I'm not ready for it. In December, I said, yes, it'll be out in June. And because I just decided I had it, it, it hit me. And someone said, man, you just say all the shit that yeah, you said. Right. And I was like, that's the title. I'm going to write that's it. That's awesome. And then, you know, I got it to my dude the 1st of February, the, the, the innards of that. Okay. And then... He got it ready and to me by June first, and we we put it out after print. And so, so this is this is you sell this on your website, JoshuaCoburn.com. Yep. Okay, and that's the only place you can get it. That's what I was going to wonder, right? Yeah. So it's that that's the only spot you can get it because yep. I know usually when they sell a book, they're like, oh, available at all. Yeah, all and Amazon places. and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. I've done all that, and you know what? At the end of the day, it's my followers they're who gonna are buying buy it. Yeah, and I want to be the guy that signs it packages it and sends it to my boy or girl out there who needs it. That's what it's about for me. Because That's awesome. I, it's not somebody picking it off a shelf that doesn't care, throwing it in a cart. Yeah. yeah, I get you can get free shipping, you do all this stuff, but you know what? It means something to me. Right. If you're gonna pay twenty bucks for this thing, 
I want it to mean something to you. So that's what it's about. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah we have uh, a much lower level, but we have an Etsy shop where Sam makes oh, yeah. all of our shirts. Perfect. And it's literally right over there. We ship everything out. Sam handwrites a card on, on every one. And it's the same thing. A lot of content creators, and not knocking them at all, they go through these... Uh, Shirt designer companies yeah, where cartel, you, exactly, stuff, yeah. you put it and bam, they can order it. You don't ever touch it. You don't ever make, Sam presses and prints every shirt That's and makes huge. it. So we, we're the same exact way. Why? Because it's only our followers that are going to go buy right. these things. We're not right. finding random people on Amazon that right. are searching for, for this book. And, exactly. if, and if you do, that's awesome. And it introduces to that. Uh, but there's other avenues for people to find you and stuff. Right. So. And, and, you know, I never, I, you know, I mentioned The Rock either. I never set out to be like some mainstream yeah. guy. I'm more of the like the underground dude that people are like, oh, you know that guy? Yeah. I know that guy. I love that dude. Yes. That's what it's about for me. Not, yeah. you know, every, you know, soccer mom in America knowing who and, I am. That's and not that's, what I'm about. That's what I'm excited. I haven't talked about this at all. I haven't mentioned you in anything. And so I'm excited to, one, have my subscribers meet uh, another crazy, positive, inspirational person. Yeah, thank but you. But two, have the other guys be like, Dan, you know Joshua? Oh my God, I've been following him. Like I know, yeah. I know those are coming out. I can see like mutual friends on Instagram and yeah. stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And especially with that little connection of a beard, right? right? Even if that's the Instagram scrolling through where they see a beard and that's enough for them to click mm -hmm. on there, and then they get into your world and see all the great right. things you're doing, I'm I'm excited for that. Like genuinely excited for yeah, people too, to man. to kind of come out of the woodworks, but also get introduced to you and mm -hmm. see that. I think that's going to be really cool, kind of two worlds colliding and even similar similar worlds, right? I know you're big into, um, would it be appropriate to say gun right? Uh, uh, yeah. Gun right yeah, activist. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, Second right. Amendment. Absolutely, right? History teacher. Right. We're good, absolutely. good to go there. Yeah. And that kind of a lot of time goes hand in hand with the bearded community mm -hmm. and, and, and those yes. guys. So, um, I think that that's going to be a cool thing is when people see this and I can't wait till that title drops and people are like, what this right. world and this world like colliding I'm like my, my thing so I think that's going to be pretty awesome and and we can again like the options are endless because you you do come back to Michigan on a regular basis Absolutely, is, yeah. um, where your wife and your kids live is this where's your home where do you consider home uh home is here okay home is with family okay um I I'm in Iowa I mean I grew up in Iowa yeah I do a lot of work in Iowa okay. so I'm I commute but home is absolutely 100% Michigan. That's awesome. Michigan. That's awesome. So, and yeah. where they live, my wife graduated high school. Yeah, geez, that's that's absolutely Isn't crazy. that crazy? Yeah, it's such a small world. So just unreal. Yeah. So we're well, hoping to be able to, to get you to that school, our school, and all uh, that. I stuff, would so. absolutely love that. I would, yeah. And, and I, I have to ask, because you brought up your wife. Yes. And and as walking in, you know, if, if I'm being, I don't know if I should share this, you can edit it out. But, okay. Uh, walking in, there's there's baby beard photos yes. you know, with the family and stuff. Yes. So how was it for, because cause my wife has not known me without okay. the beard. So I, I'd imagine yeah. there's there's some change, there's some growth, some so, acceptance. Great question. Great question. Uh, my wife is amazing. So I've had a beard of some kind since I was like 16. Yeah, so sure. I've had soul patch. I've had a nasty chin strap. Oh, I, I've, yeah. I, I called it the Josh strap because <laughs> it was so that, right? So, yeah, mine was in high school. Uh, and, you, and that's where it grows in the strongest, you know? And uh -huh. I'm like, man, I'm having this. And it was almost like a rebellion against my dad. I was a, a big basketball player. Uh, and my dad was like, the New York Yankees can't have facial hair. Neither can you. And I'm like, no, dad, it's cool. And he was like, you can do whatever you want, but just don't come back home. And I'm like... Oh. Oh, okay. So I shaved it. Oh. oh, I shaved. Oh, no. I, I wasn't that tough. I wasn't. I wanted to be rebellious, but then I was like, I had But I got to eat. So. So. Right, right. Yeah. And I did have a job. So I, I shaved it, but I left the soul patch. Yeah. It was like my one, like, fighting thing. Yeah, like, take you. that, Dad. Yeah. He was kind of like, whatever. You. Surfer, you know. <laughs> he had to pick fun at me. So I've had it very. When I met my wife, I had a, a shorter, like, if you, you know, a two guard mm -hmm. on a, Trimmers, a yep. two guard type beard, a little Hollywood beard. And she liked it. And we started dating, we get serious. We actually move in together. And she was one day like, um, because you know it's weird when girls try to suggest something from you because you're right. like, where's that coming from? Right? Was that something you saw? Was that your ex? <laughs> like, where is that motivated? And she was like, so have you thought about like really growing your beard? Oh, I was expecting yes, a shave. Yes, I know. Whoa. So impressive. she said, have you thought about really growing your beard? And I said, yeah. I just, as a teen, it was, so we met the summer 
Uh, I graduated college. We met the summer as I was applying for job interviews. Mm -hmm. So I've been teaching for my career the same amount of time I've been with my wife. And so I was like, I don't want to go into a job interview with a long beard. I still had a stubble beard. Sure. And I get the job, and that's when we started moving. We, we kind of moved quickly and, and moved in. She took a drawer and then took a dresser, took a bathroom. Right, you know how right, that right. goes. Yeah, totally. And yeah, she, once I'm established my job, she's like, have you thought about really growing it out? And I'm like, yeah, I just didn't know you'd like it. Same kind of thing. Yeah. She was like, please. And so <laughs> I grew it out. She loved it. This is how this began too, is I would watch videos on beard care. It's in the kitchen and I would try to enter giveaways and I would listen to all these tips and tricks and she was like, hey, you have a really nice beard and you like talking to people, like, why don't you make a channel? So like all these major changes in my, wife, in my life were suggested by my wife. Amazing. Like no joke, she wanted me to grow it long and she asked me to start the channel. Wow. So a lot Impressive. of guys battle with their wife and, and, and have that, that idea of, gosh, I don't know what my wife's going to say if I do this. Um, before I started the channel, I purchased over 60 bottles of beard oil in like two months. Whoa. So it like snowballed quick and she was always amazing about it. She never threw shade at me. She never like, was like, she understood it and like secretly it gave her an excuse to buy makeup stuff. So ah, it was like, if right. I got something, right. she was like, okay. oh, well then I get this eyeliner and I'm like, well, I can't say anything about that. So right. Right. she's been unbelievably supportive. I've never had that other aspect of guys being like, ah, she's on every review video I do. She Which never once awesome. complains. Like, I mean, wow. she she's pregnant. And of course, during the boys' nap time, she wants to sit down and watch Stranger Things and, and just relax. But she comes down and does every review. So That's amazing. Yeah, there, as the baby beard evolved and changed, she was the engine behind it. Whoa, that's impressive. I know, it's yeah. crazy. You know, and then when it's done for our life, so she's full board. That's, yeah, that's awesome. I mean, the, the reason I bring it up is because I fought those battles in my yeah. past. And, you know, once I brought it back, I'm like, this is just who I am. Yeah, 100%. And, like, accept it or not, yeah. you know. And, and uh, my wife and I were just discussing the other day, and I mentioned something about it, and she just kind of gave me, like, a when, when I said something about shaving it. Yeah. Like, I have no interest in shaving right. it. I got the, like, the kind of side stink eye right. thing, you know. And, uh, you know, it's was, it was really interesting because I get texts regularly from her mentioning, like, I miss the smell of your beard. Yeah. So it's really interesting because I don't do anything to my beard. So I right. don't know what it is, but I'm going to bottle it. Yeah. And I'll have to have you review it. Joshua Pheromones. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. He's going to have to do it. I mean, Cynthia's going to have to do, uh, to, do, you to imagine do the sniffing like to make wild sure. animals like starting to come out like what right. is that? That would be crazy. Oh, dude, like a little deerling like popping out and stuff. It'll probably, I mean, honestly, it'll probably happen. Yeah. So it's, let's just it's plan on it. It's going to. Right. And that, that video <laughs> would be, that would be fun. That would be you fun. You know, I bet we could pull that off. Like yeah. just the, you know, the eagles landing. Oh and my the, gosh. The whole thing. I mean. So the city you live in, we were driving down the main road the other day, completely unrelated to the Southern Eagles. There's a dead deer carcass. Bald eagle. Whoa. And we, that's not common around here. And other birds started to come up, busted out its wings, right. and was like, "Nope, back off, back off." Yeah, just down the road. That's amazing. Isn't that crazy? So much man. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> there was. Yeah, I think the national anthem started to play. Uh, like, uh, yeah, it was, fireworks. Like, it was, yeah, it was I, unreal. Yeah, unreal. Dancing. Yeah, that's why uh, I got America's the wooden. My, my, my I, I, I do. So that's I crazy. I have a Michigan <laughs> one. So. Oh. Yeah. All Amazing. Right. So yeah, I love that question because yeah, my wife is is nothing but supportive in in every single way. It's it's crazy. That's like, so awesome. Crazy how how awesome it is. And I, and I can tell the same for for you guys. Oh, You're kind of in a similar world. Your your wife uh, talks about her story and her motivation and helping people out and stuff. Sure. So sh that's super super cool. Um, anything you got on that? Anyone want to touch with that? Uh, yeah. As far as her and yeah, what she's yeah, been, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we actually just launched her. Website, saw which that. Is, yeah, it's, well it's, done. Yeah, I heard the maker of the site was pretty talented. A uh, sexy dude, <laughs> <laughs> just beautiful. Just, I mean, just, just saying, yeah, majestic I, beard. That was cetera. one of the like qualifying. She needed a like beautiful man to make the right. website. I mean, so. and, and yeah, when I interviewed for the position, <laughs> it, went, it went good. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's sinister.com, which is okay. C because her, her name's uh, Sin Sin Coburn, so it's C Y N N I S T E R dot com. Okay. Okay. And she also is a, a speaker and yeah. you know she's definitely got a pretty heavy past, much like yeah. myself, a uh, heavier actually. And uh, you know she's turning that around for good for for other so cool. men and women out there to to kick ass instead of. Um, you know, being a victim, she's helping them tell their stories of triumph instead. So. I love that. Love, yeah, love, awesome. love, 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 love that. Awesome. That's that's really cool. Yeah, my wife, her 
her whole life is <clears throat> guided by being a mother. Everything yeah. she does is she wants to be the best mother. And, and that is so amazing. I do, I, essentially, she was a, she was an accountant, had a really good job, like better than mine, where we took her insurance and everything. Like mm -hmm. as a teacher, you're like, oh, they no, her job was much better. Awesome. Um, we had our first son. She went to go back to work. I was kind of, I had this kind of ignorant rule where I wanted to be a teacher, but I knew teachers didn't make a lot of money. So I always had a rule, if I married a girl, she had to have a career. And I even told Sam okay. that before we got married and everything. And she was cool with it. And now that I look back at it, it was so stupid, so wrong of me. Right. But that was that was where I was. Sure. And so we had the son. I said, all right, you got your maternity leave. Now it's, you got to go back to your work. We have your insurance and everything. She went back. She cried every single day on the way to uh, work. Every no single way. day on her way home. All she wanted to do, she, even if it was my mom, her mom, amazing people raising the kid while I was at work, while she was at work, she just wanted to be there to raise her kids. Right. And so one day I was like, huge. you know what? All right, that's it. Quit. I'll do whatever it takes. I took every single coaching job I could find. I started um, tutoring. I started doing private lessons. I was big into metal detecting before. Random wow. fact, I would research history and that. I sold my metal detector, all my equipment, everything. I said, right. whatever, if this is that important to you, we'll make it work. Mm -hmm. And so she's never let me down. Everything she does is based around being the best mother of all time. Oh, so that's amazing. It's, it's super cool. And she, she doesn't... Uh, like have a, a social media big on that or anything. She she started like a mom blog to kind of give that that out and right. um, touch and go with it. But <clears throat> similar thing where I, I see that you guys can bond and bounce that off each other. That's my thing with her is that, that she just wants to be a mom and and I'll do whatever I can. And this channel's kind of helped that ability for her to stay home and stuff. So it's it's mind blowing. Yeah, mind that's blowing. so great. So many people struggle with finding a, a mate or a partner in life yeah. that's that's going to support them yep. in all the ways. Yep. And and like you said, like you're willing to do whatever it takes. That's yeah. so huge. Like, I'll sell everything and we'll start over a hundred times. And that's what we got to do. Yep. It's totally worth that. Yep. So, Period. And that that was that. that was it. One hundred percent. I didn't care what it was. And and when I say like I coach like, I would coach two different practices. I would do private lessons. And I would find every ounce of seconds I could to go hang out with my son. I would, right. I mean, I would, uh, you just make it work. You sleep very little and you make it work. And then all the experts will be like, oh, you got to have sleep. It's not good for your health. And it's, you, you strike while it's hot. You right. make it happen Absolutely. while you can. And, and, and that's It's not amazing. forever. And right. we know that. We'll, right. You know, we'll grind for five years, but you will rest. Yep. Or if it's eight years or whatever. Yep. Yeah. But powered by beard. Yep. So it works out. By everything. Yeah. So amazing. Amazing. Anything that, that you want to touch on that we didn't, uh, um, we didn't cover at all? Gosh, you know, uh, I, not necessarily. Um, I think we covered we covered a lot of ground. Like, yeah, real we did. Fast, it's I it's like, crazy. We will, we will have to do a live stream. There, there's yeah, such a, we'll a different that. level to that where we get interaction with, with your people, yeah. my people, our combined people, and it's, it's just like it just snowballs. We, you guys, we have nothing. There's no clipboard. There's no whiteboard. There's no questions. There's no agenda. It's just... That's the beauty of these things, man. It just flows. So super cool. So my goal is to connect again throughout that time, talk about beards and what, right. what changes maybe you've made. And if you have any experiences or any differences or not, I think that's going to be super interesting yeah. because if I give you something, I tell you about something, you use something, I know if it's not working, you'd be like, nope, nothing. Yeah, didn't change. Just, didn't change. <laughs> yes. Where a lot of people, I understand if I tell them something, they're like, oh, yeah, this is great. Thanks, oh, Dan. Man. And you're like, nope, sorry, buddy. Yeah, I it's, just, uh, I don't play the game. Yep, I'm so straight yep, up. Like. Yep, and I love that. So I think that would be super cool. And then just, yeah, get more stories, get your wife involved in, in, yeah, in everything. For sure. I think the, the options are, are endless out there. So um, sincerely, thank you for this opportunity. Like, yeah. I, there's nothing in the world where he would have had to respond to a comment or his wife respond to, to a message and the, the connections here. Uh, it was just so just just smooth and just natural. And, and, right. and I have just endless appreciation for that. I really do, man. Thank you. Yeah, so. it's honestly, it's my, my pleasure to be on the show. And like beards are a thing. Like I'm yeah. finding out this is such a thing. Yeah, you'll see. And I love it. So yeah. it's really exciting for me to kind of truly like cross into yeah. that world. So yeah. I appreciate that opportunity. Yeah. And, and awesome to hang out. Yeah. Hang out with, with him and with Seriously. you guys. Like, that's amazing. Seriously. I mean, we'll have to. I know you're big into cigars, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll have to make that. I'm not... I, I've dabbled. My big thing, and this is maybe you can teach me, sure. is I love the experience of cigars. I love the smells of cigars. I have some beautiful cigar-scented uh, beard oils over there. Ooh. And I love that. But I have a nasty, terrible aftertaste when I finish a cigar. Right. 
and I can't get past it. Usually when I smoke a cigar, I'll go to Detroit with my dad, and we'll go see a game, we'll go see a fight, something. Sure. And we stay at a hotel, we get some drinks, and we go, there's a really cool cigar lounge that we like in Detroit. And my dad's a smoozer, so he gets us up into the VIP, and we feel important and stuff, yeah, and there's yeah, like red it. wings up there and stuff. And then we're looking cool, doing amazing with these. Uh, half of the store, or half of the building is a cigar store. The other half is a lounge. Yep. And so we'll get these nice cigars, my dad's treat, and I love it. And I get back to the hotel, and it's the worst taste in my mouth of all time. Sure. I've tried lime juice. I've tried um, beer, pop, everything you can imagine. Right. I'll wake up, and it's the worst taste in all yeah. time. Uh, mouthwash. Okay. Yeah. That's what I use. Seriously? But, yeah. Right. But also, and, and I'm I, admittedly not super seasoned in the cigar world. It's something okay. I love, but I'm still like, I'm not into the buy a box of one thing yet. Yeah. I'm into the still try everything okay. mode. Right. But that said, I'll definitely know if what I've had the previous evening by, like quality of it, yeah. by how my mouth is. Okay. So that that tells me a lot. That's why I stick with like, Higher quality, quality, less stay in the mouth? Uh, yeah. Um, and, and that doesn't mean higher dollar. That just means... Hmm better, smoother, you know, all, okay. all those things. Because, I mean, okay. you can get a great, you know, 5 or $6 cigar, yeah. or you can have a good, you know, $25 yeah. cigar. They're going to be equal on those terms. Okay. So, and cigars are huge in the beard world. Yeah, huge, I see that. Huge, what, huge. And, again, it's so weird because, like, I just naturally fell into, like, because, I, you know, cigars, whiskey, bodybuilding, yep. uh, beards, tattoos. Like, this is just my life. Yeah. And then suddenly, like, social media happens the way it happens, and I'm like, oh, Apparently I'm that guy. Yeah, like I'm that guy. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. So I'm and and, that guy. and strangely <laughs> positivity, like in, right. in all like we talked about defining stereotypes, like it goes with it. So right, totally crazy. So man, I I'm excited for for our possibilities and and uh, connections in the future, and hopefully Definitely. you guys enjoy it and drop questions down there, comments down there. Check out the description. I'll have Joshua's website. I'll have his beautiful wife's website. Um, you got books. Um, and you even I think you talk about like your your upcoming shows and stuff on there. Uh, or? Yeah, yeah, everything. And yeah. Anytime I'm speaking anywhere, we try to put it out there. Because I do a lot of private events yeah. over public events, but we've been talking about maybe right. doing some smaller okay. public events. So, and yeah, all those things. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, absolute pleasure. Dude, thank you so Seriously, much. Seriously, thank you. My pleasure. All right, guys, as always, stay bearded and stay positive.